Hello viewers, SuperGT here. I think I might have found the most immersive experience on Gran Turismo 7. We're going to be taking a drive in this, the Jaguar XJR9, and we're going to be doing it around this track, the no chicane configuration of Le Mans. We've got our lineup of Group C cars and we've got some GT3 cars as well. Now many of you have been calling for more VR content. This is going to be done on the VR headset, so I won't be needing these, but I will be needing this. Okay, seems to all be working. Let's go. All right, let's jump into this race. Let's see what we can do. And the lights go green. In fact, the lights don't go green. The red lights go out. The race is underway. We're trying to get past the GT3 cars initially here. Let's make sure we don't get any damage. Not crash into any of them. Oh, we've already done that though. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take to the escape road here. Up behind the Audi. Which side should I go? I'm going to go left. I should be able to get past these guys quite quickly. Up the inside of the BMW. Then just the one more GT3 car remaining. The Nissan, looks like. Now, the thing you're going to notice here is that I have disabled the entire HUD in the game. Therefore... There is no lap counter, no position counter, no track map, none of that at all. So I am truly in the car alone and fully immersed in this race. What you can see though is we, ha we do have some telemetry data here. Was that a lap counter? Fuel percentage remaining in the middle and the temperature of something, which is 15 degrees, whatever that is. We don't have a speedometer, so I don't actually know how quick I'm going right now, but somewhere in the region of 235, 240 miles per hour down this back straight. The no chicane version, which they used to run back in the day, which these Group C cars would have navigated. And it's kind of incredible to me that these cars would have lasted 24 hours going those speeds for so long. But anyway, let's try and catch up with the cars in front, the Group C cars. Now, as you can probably tell by the blazing sun ahead of us, we've started this race just before sunset. And I have set the time to 30 times. So every two minutes in the game is an hour of time progression. And so this 25 minute race should equate to roughly, what's that, 12 and a half hours? If my math is correct, which it might not be. It's quite hard to concentrate on adding up and multiplication whilst you're driving a Group C car around Le Mans. Up now behind the Nissan. Oh my goodness. They break in a very unexpected place there. Luckily, no fatalities to report of. Okay, I'll be on this Chaparral 2J here. Well, I'll just put that in there for a meme, you know. Why not? It's always nice to have a fridge freezer in the race, isn't it? Alright, that's one lap safely navigated. 5% of fuel used in one lap. Well, actually, it's a technically 4%, isn't it? No, he's starting on 99.9. .9. Up the inside of the fridge. Not quite. Jaguar here. Sister car. Can we nip up the inside? Oh, he's going to give me space. Thank you very much. That could have ended badly. Right, onto the ball sand. Lap number two. Let's try and get past the chaparral. Get a good exit. Move to the right. That thing is pretty quick. That thing is fast. It is keeping up. That, is, that thing is no slouch. Look at it in the mirrors. It's on the left. Drag race with a fridge freezer down the Mulsan Strait. Where is it? I can't even see it anymore. Sparks in front. That does look absolutely mega. Cars in the distance. Sunset. Sparks flying and a fridge freezer in your rear view mirror. 
absolutely incredible scenes here. I'm going to move to the left. We do have a slight kink to the right coming up. Of course, not running the chicanes, as we've mentioned. I'm trying to spot a break point for the Mulsan uh, corner at the end of the straight. It's pretty much the beginning of the curve on the right. About there. No, it's not. Oh, what's going on? The Jaguar team have just imploded. Two cars off simultaneously. Oh, that guy's going very slow. Thank you very much. So I don't know what position I'm in. Such is the immersion. Because believe it or not, humans don't have a HUD in their eyeballs when they're doing an actual race. Although they do probably have a team radio, don't they? So there is that. But for the, for the benefit of realism, I do not have team radio or HUD in my eyeball. So I can't see anything. I don't know what position I'm in. But look at this. The colours of the sky going from orange to blue. We are going to be immersed in night in not too long into the Porsche Curse for the second time here we go the lights come on let's give them a flash just to see if they are on they are and then this is the part of the track where it really is alive especially at night oh, my steering isn't alive with the the Ferris wheel lit up now as you can see and this is where, of course, you have the highest concentration of fans. Hashtag best fans. Oh, over that curve, a bit too much there. Let's take a look. It really does feel incredible driving through this. It's almost like a valley. Through the main straight. And we begin lap three. Let's try and catch up with this little cluster here. I look like I'm at, I think I'm in P5. No, one two three no I'm in, P I'm in p6 had to be didn't it unless there's someone out in the distance but i couldn't see anyone else turn rouge nice nicely done right on the limit of the curb okay no one immediately in the mirror we can concentrate on going forward let's get in the toe try and maximize this slipstream edge out a couple more miles per hour down the excuse me down the more sand straight look at that fuel going down every couple of seconds am i close enough i don't think i'm in the tote but look at the stars that is beautiful i might just stop and have a look i mean to be fair the straight is long enough you can just have a look Helicopter very low. I mean, what a sight that is. Driving down the Mulsan, Group C car, 240 miles an hour. With clearly visible stars. Love that. It melts my heart. You see, even see the moon over there, look at it. A nice crescent moon in the, in the sky. What could go wrong? Right, let's get into that tow once again. Should probably stop concentrating on the universe, more on the race. Hitting that apex nicely there. Back over to the left. Tricky corner this one. Trying to spot that curb before that car blocks my view of it. Keep it in second gear for the exit to minimise wheel spin. We're in the toe now. I get a move done. I try to get to the right hand side. And we've got the position. That's P5, I think. Right, Porsche curves. Let's really attack now. Over the curb. Keep it nice and narrow through this right. Throw it in early. Not not early enough. And then back towards 
a busy section of the track. Into the four chicanes. Throw it in. Carry the speed. Throw it over this curb nice and early. And maximise the track before the exit. We've got a good run. Gets the Nissan. It's a drag race between two of us. It's very close. I'm going to have to concede that. Didn't quite have a run. To wait for a good opportunity. Wall stand straight is always a good one. Throw it in here. Over the curb. Flat out through this one. Not quite half of a lift. Turt Rouge. Then on the power. Crucial exit that one. Onto the longest straight, of course. Right, let's do this. Sky becoming a bit more cloudy now. Which side is he going? I'm going to go to the right. Look at this. I have to tuck back in. I'm relying fully on this car in front. I have no visibility of what's in front. Over to the right once again. Whoa, almost going into those bollards. Oh my goodness. Let's give the 787B a go. Kind of hemmed in here. Not much I can do. Oh man, this is absolutely amazing. Car on my right. Can't see in the mirror. There they are there. There they are. Don't miss your breaking point here. I almost did. I almost did. Around the outside. Oh, gonna give him space. Okay. Can we get past now? Into the toe. Can we get some momentum? Waiting for that shift. Great battle once again. Look at this. Oh, almost a bit of door, ba door banging. Gonna have to be brave on the outside here. Tuck in around the outside. Get a load of that, mate. Back to the left. On the brakes. Spot that apex. On the power gently. These cars getting very good exits compared to me. In the thick of the night now. You see the stars disappearing. Definitely a bit cloudier now. Definitely seems darker than a lap ago. Throw it in here. A pair of 787Bs there. I was very slow through this, through this turn. the final complex once again always nice to get home for another tour of Le Mans can we get a good exit come on can't quite do it around the outside up the inside into Dunlop bit late a slow for the second apex Well, we are done. And it looks like the 787Bs, true to history, out in the lead. I believe they're in the lead. I don't think there's anyone else out in front. Unless I'm greatly mistaken. Let's take a look here. Can we see anyone in the distance once we get around this small kink to the right? don't think I can. I think this is the battle for the lead. We also have the GT3 cars to overlap. I'm not sure exactly when we're going to meet them. It's been... We're on the fifth lap now. I'd imagine it's some, sometime soon. This is the blockade of Master 787Bs. I'm going to head to the right. Make it three abreast. The double overtake. That was incredible. Oh, he's coming back at me now. It's on my right. You really feel their presence in the rearview mirror. Very bright lights indeed. 
see that. Oh, they get a really good launch off that turn. Look at him go. The other one as well, you can listen to that beautiful sound. That was almost a very expensive crash. Oh, I'll play it safe, back out. Live to fight another day. Oh, big slide. Pen block, Jim Carner tribute. You love to see it. Right into Bosch curves, lap five. Let's throw it in. Let's get that apex. I don't think I've met that apex all day or night. Got a bit of the turbulent weight from the cars in front. They do like to go very slow through this. On the exit of this left. This left, this right. I'm so immersed, I can't tell my left and rights anymore. Oh, that feeling when you come through that corner onto the straight. It just feels so raw and real it honestly does this is so so good it's amazing that this come out of nowhere to me you know Gran Turismo was just going along doing its thing and then suddenly you can do this on it how ridiculous is that let's throw it in over the curb over the curb coming up to the GT3 cars now under the Dunlop Bridge lap 6 and I just Get the first hint of daylight. You can see a changing of the colours in the sky. Oh, I'm hemmed in here. Wrong side. Come on. Go for it. Got some, oh, contact. Got some blue flags. Do some work now to catch back up. Lots of slow cars here. Look at the speed difference. Oh my goodness. That's that's dangerously big difference. They're probably going 170. I'm sure GT3 cars would tune their cars differently if it was the formal sand version like this. To maybe get to 180, but we're going well over 200. Aston Martin, 2010 version. Flying past them. Like they stood still. Gently through the bright pink. We have our sights on the 787B out in the lead. Maybe two seconds in front. Let's get on the brakes. Down three gears, fifth to second. Bit wide. It's not too bad. Look at that. The detail. Just looking at the guys waving the blue flags. It feels... When you just play this on a screen, it, it just feels so normal. But when you when you drive past those guys and they're waving the flag, it just feels so much, so much more real. Oh, it's the BMW is going to be a big boy. He's going to block me completely. Around the outside of the Audi, the BMW, true to the meme. Although that, was that the M6? That's not the M8. Still. Okay, still got some blue lights. There's another car coming up. And you can see now... The sky is lighting up. We are approaching the day. We've made it through the night. As we tip it in, look at that. As we turn to the right, we get a nice... bathing of sunshine. A couple of slow cars here. Corvette and... Was it a Ford GT? Can we capitalise on this situation? Yes, we can. Woo. Oh my goodness. Thank you very much. And the AI could do with some work overtaking the slow traffic. Oh, look at that. Some clear track in front. That is a good feeling. Lap number seven. We begin. 
You have that lovely morning feeling. For those, for anyone who's done a 24 hour race, even if it's just in a cart, it really does feel good to make it through to the sunlight the next morning. That's what I'm feeling right now. Survive the night, the difficult part of the race. Here we are in the lead. At least I think I am. I need the team to tell me to confirm my position. But for the sake of realism, let's just say that my team radio is broken. Or I forgot to put it in before I started the race. Let's take a look. Lap 7, 68% fuel remaining. Temperature's gone down, 14 degrees now. I almost feel like I could just reach out and touch these switches. Oh God, I should probably hold two, two hands on this wheel. Oh, it's getting, it's getting gray. It is no longer a clear blue sky. We are being engulfed in a very ominous gray looking sky. That 787B lurking in the rear view mirror. Keep it under control on the exit. That master's still there. That master definitely gets some better exits than I do. But we're sitting pretty here in the lead. Just trying to judge this weather. It doesn't look good. on the brakes, tip it in, nice and gentle, throw it in again, gently apply the power, then fully on it, in a straight line, down two gears, no, I only need to go down one gear there, I think I'm gently pulling away from that 787B, I'm still very much aware of their presence, into the Porsche curves then, There's a, the line is changing, as you can see. The tarmac colour is very different. It looks like it's been raining here. Well, do I need to pit? I don't know. We're going to have to go past the pit lane. It's still dry. Okay, on to lap eight. The car behind has disappeared. I'm not seeing anyone in that rear view mirror anymore. I'm on my own. And oh my goodness. The wiper has started. We have rain. Oh no, this is getting heavy. <laughs> oh no, this is not good. I've just driven past the pit lane. Absolutely horrible timing. You have to be really careful now. I can already feel the lack of grip. Okay, we have someone in the mirror. Okay, we can go down this straight flat out, but the second half of this lap is going to be truly horrific. On slick tyres in the rain, that wiper is working overtime. I'm going to fixate my eyes past all the raindrops. I'm smashing against this windscreen. And still, a 787B lurking in the rear view mirror. Oh my goodness, half a lap. Can we just make it round? I don't even know what lap I'm on. I'm on lap eight. I don't know how long is left. I just need to survive this half a lap and then I can get back into the pit lane. Oh my goodness. Oh my. <gasps> okay, that's not very realistic, is it? What I would say though, I truly felt fear though as I was heading into that barrier. <laughs> that felt really scary. That honestly felt scary. Like. <laughs> oh my god, there's no grip. Oh 
Oh my goodness. Got to red flag the race, guys. Okay, how far through this race am I? Must be... <gasps> There's no grip. <laughs> this is really silly, but very fun. Oh, it's just slipping. They can't find a gear. <laughs> oh my god. Well, this is going to be a horrifically slow lap time. So my first, what, seven laps must have been in the range of just shy, just shy of, it must be under three minutes a lap. So we must be very close to 25 minutes. I just can't tell, there's no timer in it. So this could be the final lap, given how slow this one is going to be. <laughs> what a creep round. I'm not sure this is immersive anymore. I mean, it is, but is it realistic? I don't know. Marshall's just looking on in bemusement at this very peculiar situation. Oh. Come on, car. Whenever you want to engage that gear, it just, it just wants to spin. Got nothing left. <laughs> Turned into an ice drifting competition. Oh my goodness, the grass saved me there. Okay. <laughs> I, I think we've lost the immersion here. Actually, not. I don't even know what to think about this. The slowest race of all time. Right, Porsche. Oh, what happened there? Oh, no. These guys. Did these guys change tyres? They got grip? Maybe they were so far back they could get to the pit lane in time. Because I just went past the pit lane before the rain came in. Wow. I was too quick. I can still get a podium here. I'm still third. Come on. Oh, a bit rickety there. Come on, Jaguar. Bring it home. There's two corners left. Please be the last lap. I don't want to pit. And I don't want to do another lap. <gasps> no, I'm drifting into the pit lane. I'm going to have to cut the track a bit. Sorry. No. Immersion ruined. No! <laughs> I've lost the podium. How dare you? Spin. Ah. Oh. Another one. No, this is a Lamborghini. And there it is, the checkered flag. <laughs> P4. Oh my goodness. <laughs>